And welcome to the Inspired Overflow Radio Show. I am your host, Casey Star Long, and I'm just so glad that God has led you here to another week of Inspired Overflow. Now, if this is your first time ever tuning in to the Inspired Overflow Radio Show, I want to welcome you here at Inspired Overflow. We're more than just a radio show. We are a ministry designed to help you live your best life through Jesus Christ. And so we try to accomplish that in a variety of different ways. So sometimes every now and again, we invite different guests. They come on and they share their testimonies on how God has brought them out of difficult situations. And then every now and again, we invite uh, strong biblical leaders to just come and teach the, the word of God. And then sometimes we invite those that have been called outside of the four walls of the church and to the marketplace where they come on and share their experiences um, in entrepreneurship and how God is using them uh, to bless and advance his kingdom in a, in a different, unique way. Um, today, we are so excited about our guest. I'm telling you, our guest is super special. Um, he's going to help us pray and prophetically decree over the city of St. Louis. And before I get to our special guest, I want to make sure you know about a couple of upcoming events taking place here in St. Louis. So here's the thing about being involved with Inspired Overflow is that we are a ministry and uh, we are able to be here based on the support of our partners. So I'm so grateful for Pastor Shadrach Martin and the Live Church. And so they're inviting all of us to come out to two events taking place this month in October. So on Sunday... October the 29th at 4.30 p.m., they are having their dedication service. So we are just so excited that God has allowed them to have a new building, And okay? And so they're going to be celebrating the opening of that new building on Sunday, October the 29th. They are located at 215 North Shepley, and that's in St. Louis, Missouri, 63137. So they're inviting all of us to come out to their dedication service on Sunday, October the 29th at 4.30 p.m., and then the following Sunday, that's when they're going to have their consecration service on Sunday, November the 5th at 1030 a.m. So we just want to give a shout out to Pastor Shadrach Martin and also Pastor Lady Tiffany um, just for your faithfulness. Amen. And we celebrate with you. I'm telling y'all, me and my husband, we just planted a church about what? five, five Sundays ago. So we, we thank God with new buildings. Amen. Can we thank God for new buildings? Also, um, maybe you're kind of like me, um, where you know God is calling you to do some things and you need money to be able to do it. Um, there's a, a young lady. She is, I call her the grants lady. Um, other people in the community call her the nonprofit ninja. But her name is Daphne Swenson. And she wants all of us to know that she's hosting a workshop. It's called Dismantling the Myths of Nonprofits, the workshop and training series. So this is going to give you information about how to apply for grants, what you need to um, begin looking for grants. Um, this is who I call whenever I have a question about grants, okay? She helps create nonprofits, just a wealth of wisdom. So she's having a couple of um, upcoming workshops on Saturday, December the 2nd from 9 to 12 or December the 7th from 6 until 9 p.m. So this is, this is for if you want to have information about how to apply for grants, you can give Daphne a call for more information. Her number is 314-252-8373. If you want more information, you can also look at my Facebook page because I posted flyers for both of these events. So we just thank God for Daphne and uh, for supporting the Inspired Overflow Radio Show and also the live church. Now, let's get to today's broadcast because I mentioned our guest is a special guest. Um, he is from Pasadena, California, by the way of Florida. I connected with him uh, maybe about four or five years ago. I was actually listening to a radio show and um, he was on the radio and he was encouraging everybody to come out 
for this revival service. And at the time I was single. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll go. I'm looking for something to do. And um, it was at that service that we got connected. He's a great man of God. He's an accurate prophet. Um, this prophet, he prophesied to me about my future husband. He was the first one to tell me that my husband was going to be older, right? So he didn't just prophesy that, you know, you're going to get married, but he gave me um, specific things about my husband so I knew what to look for. And my husband, he's holding the video camera. So if you're watching on Facebook Live, he's laughing. But I thank God for an accurate prophet because that helped me out. So when other guys would try to come in, you know, I would be like, no, you're not it. Because I believe the man of God. When the man of God said that my husband was going to be older. And God also sent other prophets to confirm that word. So I'm here in the studio with my husband. Um, that was prophesied by none other than Prophet Rogers DeCure. Welcome, Prophet, to Inspired Overflow. I'm, I'm glad to be here, Casey. It's good to be here with you and your lovely husband, the man that God spoke and he certainly, God certainly manifested that word. Yes. And, and we're thanking God for you, Casey, and this outreach uh, that you have. And it was a, I can remember the first service that I met her in. And uh, thank God for her. And thank God for this, this vision that God have given her and her husband. And uh, I was just so thrilled today to uh, the, just as I saw her and she began to talk about what she's doing and how this ministry that God has given her is to bring change, change to people and change in their lives. I say to every one of you that are listening today, we need somebody. You know, uh, she reminds me of an Esther in this generation that is concerned about those who are in captivity. And I want to use the term today, demonic captivity. You know, some people want to be free, but they don't know how, and they don't know have nobody standing in the gap, fighting for them and showing them the way. And, and I feel that in uh, these two precious people, that they are concerned about people being loose from demonic captivity. You know, I'm sure that the people of this city have experienced it, Casey. There is, uh, th th there's so many demonic spirits that have invaded our cities. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the character of people, it's not them, it's demonic. I think our nation, not only our nation, but the world is experiencing a demon of murder that have been loosed into the world to cause men to kill, to destroy each other. We think about the recent uh, incident there in Las Vegas, strictly demonic. But now we have got to rise up and sometime. Our, 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 our policemen, our, our, our penal institutions, our social institutions, our, our psychiatrists, our psychologists, everybody's doing all they can do. But there's a group of people that must come to the front in this hour. And those people are the people of God. Because God has given us power to deal with demonic spirits. And, and we've got to come together, not only as, we got to come together, not as a denomination, but as a group of people. This is a season where we've got to break down the walls of denominationalism. And we've got to come together and we have got to pray. It's time for the church the believers, to rise up and declare war on these demonic spirits and let people know, uh-uh, it ain't going down like this. We're going to pray until our cities be cleansed and purged from these demonic spirits. Now, it's going to take more than one church. 
It's going to take more than one man. We have got to come together in this hour as God's army. And we've got to pray over our cities. We've got to pray and, and we drive through our cities and pray and begin to rebuke the demon of murder. And begin to decree freedom for the people of God. Now, listen, let me tell you something. So many people are manipulated and controlled by these demonic spirits. But Stacy, I'm sure that God have given you and the man of God a plan to reach the people and to cause them to realize that there is help. There is deliverance. Yes. You can be set free. Amen. Prophet, you're absolutely right. And, you know, that's one of the things that we want to focus on during today's broadcast mm -hmm. is that we're going to pray. And um, for those of you that are listening, Prophet Rogers DeCure, he is here in town. This is his last day um, in St. Louis. He's leading a revival um, with Prophet H.L. Gordon um, tonight at 730 at 8336th North uh, Broadway. So you can come out. Um, and hear Prophet uh, Roger Secure as he leads this revival service. Um, but he is here because we're going to pray and we're going to prophetically decree over the city of St. Louis. And I just want to give a little bit of background just for so you can have the context. Because here at Inspired Overflow, we pray a lot on this show. Um, but, you know, God began to put in my heart uh, this week about making prayer go viral. Um, and uh, that, you know, we begin to uh, take our positions of authority, that what we read in the newspaper, what we see on social media, what we read um, and what we hear about all the bad stuff taking place in our city. We don't just have to accept it. We can pray Amen. that God has given us power and authority. So we're going to go ahead and, and just go to the throne room of God. And, you know, um, prophet, one of my favorite scriptures is Second Chronicles 7 and 14. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray mm -hmm. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will restore the land. Amen. And so let's just um, let's just start off praying. I'll, I'll kick off. I'm going to pray for a spirit of repentance right now. Amen. Heavenly Father, God, we just give you glory. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to pray. God, we come before you humbly right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we repent. God, we repent from a spirit of pride and a, a spirit of arrogance. Lord, we repent in this city from uh, trying to do things without you, God. But Lord, we understand, God, that we need you to do everything, God, that we need your touch. We need your presence in this city. So, Lord, God, we invite you in. God, I pray that, Lord, you begin to touch our hearts right now, the, the hearts of believers, that, Lord, may we be pure in heart. God, may you wash us. Lord, create in us a, a new heart, God, a clean heart, a fresh heart. Lord, scrub us clean, God, so that you can work in us. Lord, we want to have your eyesight. When we see people, God, we want to see them the way how you see them. Lord, God, we want to submit to your will, not our will, God. It's not about creating our own kingdom, God, but it's about your kingdom being done on earth as it is in heaven. God, I thank you of how you're touching every listener, how, God, you're touching every viewer. God, I thank you for your presence. And I thank you, Lord, for just washing us, washing us and making us clean so we can do your work. Prophet. Hallelujah. Lord, we come in the name of Jesus today. God, we know that you have all power. And God, you've given us power and authority to speak against the demonic spirit, yes. the spirit of manipulation. We pray now, God, that that spirit be broken. We pray, God, that you would move in every area of this city, touching every level 
of society in this city and touching our hearts. And we pray, God, now. And we rebuild demonic spirits that have taken over the minds of people. We command that they be loosed and set free. We pray now that in the hearts of men that there will be a hunger to change. And we speak directly to Satan himself and say unto him, Lucifer, the Lord rebuked you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every demonic spirit that you have deputized to destroy people in this city. And we plead the blood of Jesus over our children and over the people of the city. And God, we release a word in this city right now. And that word is cancellation of every demonic spirit. We cancel every murder that Satan got planned. We cancel now every demonic attack. And God, we pray that the spirit of love yes. will, wait to, will, show, will wake up in the hearts yes. of men. God, I pray now, God, that men would wake up and just begin to reach out and love each other. That we rebuke the spirit of hurt that has controlled many because of things of the past. I release another word in the city. Change. God, we pray now that you would move on the hearts of government officials. Open their eyes that they might see that it's a demonic spirit that Satan has released for us to fight and destroy and devour one another. But tonight I speak the spirit of love. A God in government. Yes. The spirit of love. And we pray God that we will begin to reach out and begin to say in our hearts, what can I do to help my brother? What can I do to help the young man? What can I do about that man that Satan has trapped? God, we pray that as the love come in our hearts, that we will reach out and that we would cause men, we would tell men that don't know about you, Jesus, God, touch every believer in every church. God, let them not just be a church goer, but let them become a soul winner. Yes. In the name of Jesus, and I speak the word victory. Mm. I speak the word deliverance. I speak the word cancellation. Oh, my God, of every plan of the enemy. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, Prophet, as you were praying about mm -hmm. just a spirit of love yes. to come and enter into our hearts, I was reminded of the scripture where the Pharisee asked Jesus, he says, what's the greatest commandment of all? Right, right. And Jesus says, love the Lord your God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. And then he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Oh, yes. And, um, you know, having a, a heart of love is so important. That when we see people who are unsaved, when we see people who are demonically oppressed, you know, that when we see people of different races, of different denominations, when we see people who we may not agree with politically or socially, but to have that heart of love, you know, it could be one thing that we can go to church, but I believe that God wants to do some things in our hearts where we love one another. So Heavenly Father, God, Lord, I ask God that you just release a great spirit yes, of love God. over your people. Glory, Lord, do something in our hearts in a way like never, ever before. God, I'm reminded of just the, the word in Ezekiel where you said, God, that you were taking out the rocks and stone and the mm -hmm. debris of the heart. Mm -hmm. But God, you were giving us a heart of flesh. So God, I pray, Lord, that what makes you happy, God, may it make us happy. Lord, what grieves you, may it grieve us. God, we come again against the spirit of stagnancy. We come against a spirit of complacency. We come against a spirit of selfishness. God, may we be like Jesus and say, God, not our will be done, but your will be done. God, I pray for just a supernatural move on the hearts of your people. Lord, start with me. Lord, a supernatural move upon the heart, God, in the name of Jesus. And, and woman of God, I, as you're praying, I just feel the urgency and the importance to play for the leaders, the mayor, yes. the, the people of the city, yes. and, and, and for the, 
the law enforcement agency and, and for everyone that, that is in authority yes. to, to lead the city. And, and, and Father, today we pray that those who have been appointed, yes. who, who you have allowed to be in office, God, touch their hearts. Yes. Give them a heart, God, to understand that it's not just the office, but it is an appointment. And you've put yes. them there to bring change. Yes. You put them there, God, to bring unity in this city. Yes. God, purge any of them of any spirit of hate, racism, purge it out. We pray, God, that you would give them to understand, God, that they're in charge of the whole city. And they're being put in these positions to help the city, to help the people. And God, I pray for the spirit of mercy to be demonstrated. God, in every case that comes before judges, I pray, God, that the city will connect to ministries that they know can help the people. Yes. Oh, God, I thank you for the rehabilitation of people who the enemy have manipulated all their lives. Give these officials the ability and the wisdom to connect them to the people who's able to break that cycle, Woo. to break that curse that's been upon many of their families. I speak the word today, change in this city. And God, loose the people in Jesus' name. You know, Stacy, I believe that in this city, there are people that in office, they were voted in, but God knew they were going to be in that office when they were babies. And they're there. Remember the words that Mordecai told Esther. He, he, when when they were about to destroy her nation, but what did Mordecai tell her? Esther, you can't run, for you have been appointed for such a time as this. And I believe those in authority, those those councilmen, that mayor, the congressman, the judges the police chief, and all of the, the staff, I believe they're all appointed in this hour. They're not just politicians. And that's what a lot of people in government must have realized, that it is, it, is a point, it is a divine appointment. And I'm praying that they would just say, Lord, you put me here. Show me what to do. Joshua said to God one time, Lord, I've never been, we've never been this way before. And a lot of people don't realize that you cannot do it in your own strength. You've got to tell God, show me what to do. Amen, amen. Well, you guys have been hearing Prophet Rogers DeCure, who is from Pasadena by way of Florida. He's here in town for a revival. He's here um, at 8336 North Broadway tonight at 730. So be sure to come out and check him out. Um, but we've been just prophetically praying and declaring over our city. Um, when I found out the prophet was in town, I said, you know what? I want you to come on the show and I want you to pray and to decree God's word over our city. I pray that uh, today's broadcast just motivates and encourages Encourages you to open up your mouth and speak. That there are great things that God wants to do in our city. And I really believe that God's word is true. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people who are yeah. called by my name. Mm -hmm. So we're called by God's name. We're praying. We're humbling ourselves. We're praying for his will to be done in the city. And he gives us a promise that he's going to heal the land. So I believe that the best is yet to come for our region. I believe unity is to come. I believe that God's going to do a great work in the hearts and minds of his people. I believe that God is touching church. Churches. He's creating and planting new churches. He's raising up new leaders. I believe a spirit of salvation and evangelism is being released upon leaders, those who are in positions of spiritual authority right here in St. Louis. So my, my encouragement to you, my charge to you 
is for you to open up your mouth and pray for the city of St. Louis. I want you to come out tonight. Come out and see Prophet Rogers to Cure at 8336 North Broadway tonight at 730. Also, I want to invite you to Win St. Louis Praise. That is our monthly prayer gathering where just a group of believers from all different Christian denominations, we come together one time a week from seven until nine o'clock to pray specifically for St. Louis. On November the 3rd, we'll be praying at Higher Heights Deliverance Church at 2127 California Street, where Pastor Melvin Kendall, he's the hosting pastor for that month. We invite you to just come out and pray. When St. Louis prays, God hears. Prophet, we got about 30 seconds. Any closing words that you would like to say to the people? I just want to say to the people, woman of God, they're in a season where God is doing a new thing. And we're in a season where God has declared a direct attack upon these demonic spirits. And I speak this word, victory in St. Louis. And I speak to every leader, every preacher, every woman of God, every man of God. Get ready for God is doing a new thing. And the power of God is going to be demonstrated in this city and in the ministries of this city. Thank you for having me today. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Prophet, for being here. Look, we're just going to close it with the man of God, with the man of God that said victory is here. All right, you guys, we'll be back same place, same time next week. Until then, peace.